All right, folks, I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I figured I'd make one today. Um, I got a really neat email from a kid. He said he's a college student. He's one of my customers. He buys cards from me all the time. Um, and he said he wanted to start making some money selling on eBay. And um, selling his singles was just taking so long he doesn't have a whole lot of time every week with school and everything he said eight to ten hours that he could spend uh listing and selling on ebay he had already started but it was taking him a really long time to list like one card at a time and he just was looking for any ideas and asked if i would help him and i kind of thought about it and i didn't really know if most stores would want to like show what they're doing to make money and kind of give away their secrets. And I just thought, let's do it. Let's just help this kid out. And anyone else who has been wondering how card shops make money. And um, I think just sharing and encouraging people to um, start a business or get into a hobby or, you know, just start trying something new. I think encouraging and helping is and teaching a little bit is just something good to do so i'm doing it today um this is something that i do regularly i just never film it i do this all the time so today we're selling uh commander 2019 decks and i have been doing this for since these came out 2019 and the way i do it is i just break them down this is the mystic intellect deck there's four decks in the set um, and right now, the sets are about $150. Um, now, to be honest, I bought most of my decks between the set. I was buying the set of four decks between $100 and $125. That's where I bought a lot of my decks. And I just put them in storage and started listing some of them. Um, so today I'm breaking down the Mystic Intellect deck, and this deck is worth the most of the four. And breaking this deck down almost pays for the entire four decks, okay? This is the best deck. It has uh, the Dockside Extortionist, um, which sells for between 60... I think when I first started selling it, it was around 40 to $45, Um and then now it's just, it's never been reprinted yet. And it's up to 60 to $70. It kind of fluctuates 55 up to 70. Um, so the reason I'm breaking these decks down right now is because I'm all out of Dockside Extortionist. I've sold out. Um, so I need to add more to my store. Um, as well as several other cards in this, in this particular set. So here we go. The way I do it is I just start like this. You get them out. And I just take all, all eight. This card sells. Seven. The Chronoclasm. This is like a sell it for like a dollar seventy five. No big deal, but they add up. Um, so I'm not gonna. So the way I do it, I just take these eight, put them in a sleeve, and uh, I go to my listing on eBay, where I already have all of these cards listed, which is really nice. That's actually the most time consuming part is listing each individual card. But once you have them listed, you all you have to do is go change the quantity. So I just go to the listing, find seven and add eight because there's eight new ones. Same with all these cards, right? Super easy once they're listed. Boom, add quantity, eight more of these. The Pramicon, eight more of these. Um, these, some of these, uh, most of these ones sell very slowly, but I think I'm sold out of like the Sevin, the Chronoclasm. Um, a lot of these tokens don't even sell really. Um, some of them do very, I have way more, uh, I have just like a huge, I sell them in play sets of four or play sets of 10. And a lot of them don't really sell or they sell slowly. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just give them when somebody buys a card, uh, like I'll send some human tokens if they buy some humans. Um, and it's just a nice thing to do for your customers. 
Now these things that are unique, like these Pegasus tokens, these sell. I think I'm sold out of Pegasus tokens. So I will I will list these in uh, play sets of four. So I just go boom, there's two here, two here. They're what, Pegasus human. So I'll be adding quantity of four on these Pegasus tokens, because there'll be four play sets and sell them for like, you know, $1.50 to some tokens sell for more, um, maybe two bucks. Um, <clears throat> so you're really just netting a little bit with these tokens, but when someone puts together a big order that you only have to ship one time, maybe you ship a whole bunch of stuff, um, it really adds up this like, you sell this for $1.50 and you just have to ship it by itself, um, and eBay fees and everything, you'll get like 50 cents out of it. But if somebody buys this along with a several, 10 other cards and you ship them all together, then of the 150, you end up getting like a dollar 15, like more than double. So those are the key orders. If you can figure out how to get your customers to offer some incentive to them to buy several cards at a time, then you'll do much better. You'll double the money that you're making, especially on all of these small cards um, that you can only ship one time. Treasure tokens sell, but there's so many treasure tokens in a lot of sets um, that they're not really too valuable. Um, but the Pegasus ones are pretty unique. Drake ones are pretty common. So we're not going to spend too much time on these sort of cards. Um, I think I think kind of get the idea of how I do it, I guess. Um, oops, looks like I threw a cliffside rescuer somewhere, didn't I? Or there's just one missing from this deck. Oh, they just out of order. There we go. Okay, so let's just take one deck here, for example. And I'll just show you what cards kind of sell. This card I've sold very few. I sell, it's like a 25 cent card. I sell it in a play set. Leadership Vacuum, that card sells decently well. Um, Scare Tillers as a play set will sell. Ghostly Prison, this is a good card. It'll sell for a couple bucks um, pretty consistently too. Those will go pretty, pretty quickly. Um, Deep Analysis sells as like a play set, cheap play set. Factor Fiction, cheap playset sells. Una's Grace every once in a while. But really where you're making the money, Faithless Looting and Gutter Snipe sell. Um, Burnished Heart will sell. Mandate of Peace sells. The Sevens Reclamation sells. Thalia's Geist Caller sells. These are all good. Um, Wall of Stolen Identity and then, of course, the Dockside Extortionist is the best card. Um, it'll sell really fast, and it's, you know, you'll get at least $50 out of it. Um, which, even if you just, if you get 50 bucks, that pays for one-third of the entire set of four decks. Which is really crazy when you think about it. Then there's some other cards in other decks that sell for, this is by far the best, but 10 5 a lot of 5 and $10 cards. Um... Empowered Auto Generator sells, Sun Titan sell, but I usually sell them in a play set for three bucks for four of them. Clever Impersonator sells. I'm sold out of Clever Impersonator. I'm sold out of Rawls Arec. Um, Dusk at Dawn sells. Uh, yep, the Zatulpa sells. Jace's Sanctum sells. All these cards sell for at least a few bucks. All the rares. I mean, not all of them. Some of these, I have tons of these that don't sell, but most of these cards sell. Prairie Streams, good. Is it Signet sells? Soul Rings, I sell four Soul Rings for $7. Um, and they sell super fast. So there's just a ton. And then the Plains, all these basic lands, I do, I just give them away. Um, you could probably, I don't know if people really buy them, but I just give them away. You might be able to sell like 20 Plains for a couple bucks. Command Tower sells, Evolving Wild even sells. Um, so a lot of these lands sell either in play sets or for like a couple, for, you know, $1.50. So anyway, that's just what I'm doing with this deck today. Um, I'm going to be breaking down more decks 
throughout the week um, of the 2019. Uh, today, it's just these, this one. It'll take me probably to list all these cards, change the quantities. It'll only probably take me 30 minutes. So I'll do all that, maybe an hour at the most. Um, and so, yeah, once you list all the cards, um, this is a really good way to add some value to your card shop. So hopefully you guys learned something. Appreciate you for watching. If there's anything else you have questions on, leave them in the comments. And I'll try my best just to get back to everyone and create more videos like this if people like it. Um, so yeah, if you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That will really let me know that people actually want to see this type of content so that they can learn how to make some money. And also just like enjoy, you can trade cards, you can do whatever you want. But um, I just like the game and I want to buy certain cards for myself. So I have to generate some sort of income so that I can keep buying cards for myself. So I buy a lot, sell a lot. Some for myself I keep, some I sell, buy to resell. So uh, yeah, that's just how I do it. Let me know what you think.